Hey kids, welcome to lesson 17, building an app, Canvas Painter, changing colors in Canvas. We would like to make our dots transparent so that we can see when they are drawn on top of each other. To set the color and transparency of shapes you draw on your canvas, you'll need to change both the stroke or outline color and the fill color. That means we're just going to have to change what's holding the circle and what's inside the circle. The functions set color stroke and set fill color can be used to set those colors. These functions accept strings of the form RGBA as inputs. The first three values in the string are RGB values, and that's our red, green, and blue. The last value is transparency, or alpha, as represented by the decimal number between zero and one. Altogether, it should look like something below. There's has set fill color, RGBA, there's is set to 0, 0, 0, and 0 0.5. If you remember, that number goes between 0 and 1, and that's a percentage. That's saying it is 50%. So it's dark, but not really, really dark. We have a do this before the loop, add a set stroke color command to set the stroke to fully transparent. Add a set fill color command to set your dots to full black and mostly transparent. Try a value of 0.2. Well, this doesn't sound too bad at all. Let's go ahead and take a look at our code here. Looks like somehow we got a four deleted here, so we just have to put that back. We need to add these two commands before our for loop here. Let's just make some space and we are going to add set stroke color and set fill color. These right now are just coming out with regular colors, which we can use. But if you remember, it also accepts the RGBA input and that's what we're going to use. Let's get rid of red here. Let's do R G. B A, we need a parentheses, zero, comma, zero, comma, zero. That's our red, green, blue. We want to set the transparency or the alpha of this one to zero. That means nothing on it, not transparent at all. So we should be able to see the outline of the circle. We're not done yet. This right here, you got to look at your parentheses. We have a quotation mark here. We don't need that one. We do need a quotation mark on the outside to envelop all of the RGBA. Then we need another parentheses to hold that whole entire string in there. Be careful, common mistake here is leaving out one of the quotation marks and one of the parentheses. We are going to do the same thing down here to set fill color. Our G, B, A, what are we gonna put in there? Nothing. This one though is gonna be set to a 0.2, so 0 0.2. Close off our parentheses, quotation mark, parentheses, semicolon. This should work like theirs, and we should get dots that are fully transparent with a little black outline around them. Let's see if that's what happens. And it looks like actually our outlines are completely clear. I bet if we do a 0 0.5, we could see the outlines a little better. Let's hit reset run. There we go. So zero, I was mistaken earlier. Zero would be totally transparent where one would be a total solid line. Just a good reminder of how that works there. They want theirs set to zero though, so let's take that back, reset run, and it is fully transparent just like their example. Our code looks like it's working as intended. Let's look back at our do this before our loop here. We added a set stroke color and a set fill color. We used RGB commands instead of the regular red, green, blue. We set those to 000, which is fully black. And 
we added the transparency to 0.2 so we could see the overlapping dots. I think that's all code.org wanted from us. Let's see if they want anything else. Nope. Good job, kids. I will see you on the next lesson.